Okay, this is a follow-up video to one that I posted yesterday and uh, decided I'd better take it off uh, and delete it because uh, there was some misinformation in the video. And it involves this um, crystalline cell that uh, we thought was a pure waterless cell. And then today and last night we discovered that the water is actually in the crystals. Uh, and when you melt it, basically, or you get it hot or cold or whatever, uh, the the crystalline structure will give up the moisture. And anyway, um, we uh, decided that this was uh, really a galvanic situation between two dissimilar metals, only in a crystalline state that's actually got the moisture contained in the crystalline structure. And it was quite a little project the last 24 hours of a bunch of guys getting together and learning how this is working. And I ended up really liking this. I, in fact, I made another one and encased it in cardboard so it would be stable. And it runs this little oscillator just terrific. And I don't know how long this will run, but I sure like the performance. There's a voltage on it right there. Puts out almost a volt and a half. Um, the two dissimilar metals are copper and magnesium. And um, the fact that there's not really a liquid state of water in this may make this run longer than one that actually has the liquid water in it. Now when you heat this up uh, what happens is the alum will melt down and the water in the crystals will start going to a liquid state and then as you heat it up it boils and the trick is to boil this off to just a certain point so that not all the water is gone. The water will retain back in the crystalline form when this hardens again. And I put both of these out in the sun today and cooked them for five hours just to see if I could cook off um, the water to a point where they would be hard but still have the water contained in the crystals and they both uh, came out like champs and like I say I uh, I really like this crystal that he came up with this crystalline um, battery and we'll just have to see how long it runs and uh, what happens to it but um, not a bad idea it's just that we uh, came to the wrong conclusion on it but uh, actually the outcome for me anyway was a plus so I just wanted to uh, follow up on that video and the reason why I had to take it off the internet was uh, uh, it was not quite correct but if you go over to IB Pointless's uh, channel it's it's IB P-O-I-N-T L-E-S-S -S. he'll show you how to make one of these uh, crystalline type batteries it's a uh, borax alum and salt substitute cooked on a stove and the boron and the um, our borax not boron borax and the salt substitute are piled on the aluminum foil and then the alum goes on top with the two elements and the alum will melt down and make like a glue that puts all this stuff together and forms this um, real nice galvanic cell that is in a hard state so anyway thanks for watching Hope you enjoyed this. If you can make one of these, uh, I recommend it.